Now we are going to learn how to find out the second parameter of the transistor in CE mode. The same circuit to be used. Here the second parameter of the transistor is called as current gain. To find out the current gain of the transistor in CE mode, a graph to be drawn. The name of the graph is called transfer characteristics graph. Transfer characteristics graph. From this transfer characteristics graph, we are going to find out the second parameter of the transistor that is called current gain. So how to write the formula for current gain? So here, now we are going to find out the ratio between two currents. The current gain symbol in CE mode is represented by the letter beta. Don't forget this. Here two currents are there in the circuit. One is called input current, base current. The another one is called output current. Are you clear? That is IC, collector current. So this is the output current, this is the input current. Usually to find out the gain of anything, what we have to do, write output divided by input. Output divided by input that gives you the gain. How many times it is multiplied, that could be calculated. So here, this is the output current. Therefore, first you have to write it as IC in the numerator. In the denominator, input current must be written. That is called IB. Here, what we have to do? We have to find out the difference in both cases. Del. Del means difference in collector current. Here also we have to write the del symbol that gives you the difference in base current. Here, this ratio, this ratio that gives you the current gain in CE mode. When these two are varied and observed, one more thing to be kept constant. That is nothing but VCE. This VCE to be kept constant when these two are varied and observed. Therefore, in the outside the bracket, there you have to write VCE as constant factor. Now, I am going to define the current gain in CE mode, common emitter mode. How to define current gain? The definition may be asked in the two mark. Current gain beta of the transistor in CE mode is defined as the ratio of change in collector current to the change in base current at constant collector emitter voltage. So this is the definition of the current gain may be asked in the two mark. Okay. Here both the two are nothing but currents. Here this current is measured in milliampere and this current is measured in microampere. Since both are in amperes, both units can be cancelled. So finally the current gain, it does not have any unit. It does not have any unit. So this is the method of finding the formula. Now, how to find out the value of current gain from this experiment? Look at that. Here, this is the tabular column which is required to note down the readings. Here, IB to be varied. What is IB? Base current. The IB to be varied and collector current IC must be observed. When this one is varied, this one must be observed. Are you clear? In the meantime, one more thing to be kept constant that is voltage across, collector and emitter must be kept constant. So here by adjusting the rheostat 2, set the value of Vc as 1 volt. When these two are varied and observed, this factor must be kept constant, Vc must, must be kept constant. So adjust the rheostat 2 and set the value of Vc as 1 volt. Don't change the Vc throughout when these two are varied and observed. Now after setting the value Vc as 1 volt, by adjusting the rheostat 2, note down, by adjusting the rheostat 1, vary the value of IB and note down the reading in the uh, micrometer, milliameter. Are you clear? IB to be varied, IC to be observed. In this micrometer, IB to be varied. For each reading, you have to find out the corresponding variation in the IC, that is in the milliameter. Let us take the first value. Let us imagine 0. Microampere is there in the case of um, IB, that is in microammeter. When 0 microampere is set, you will get some value here. Though it is 0, you will get some value. Let us imagine the value is 1.5 milliampere. Are you clear? Though IB is 0, you can observe some reading in the IC. Are you clear? Now adjust the rheostat 1 and vary the value of IB from 0 microampere to 10 microampere. Now you may get the next value 2.5 milliampere. 
these are all the sample value just for understanding purpose i am writing but in reality in practical you may get some other value and uh, vary the value of ib by adjusting the rheostat one and set the value of ib as 20 microampere you may get the value as 3.5 milliampere now vary the value of ib by adjusting the rheostat one and change it into 30 microampere now you may get the value as 4.5 milliampere so for different values of ib you have got different values of ic are you clear so after getting the values by varying ib you are getting ic no by getting all the value take a graph sheet so all the ib value to be taken in the x axis and ic value to be taken in y axis after plotting the value you will get a straight line like this it won't start from the origin because even for 0 microampere you are getting some value of ic are you clear so it won't start from the origin that one may start from here so after getting the straight line what we have to do we have to draw a slope are you clear choose some value in ic choose certain values let us imagine this is point number one this is point number two and there from extend the line that one will intersect on the straight line there from you extend towards x axis and this difference between these two reading higher value to lower value that one gives you the difference in ic are you clear and here also you are getting the corresponding uh, difference in the ib value the corresponding difference between the two ib value that can be called as del ib are you clear this is del ic this is del ib are you clear wherever you draw the uh, graph you will get the same answer so after getting del ic and ib what we have to do this value of del ic and this value of del ib both have to be substituted in the formula you will get the value of current gain are you clear now you should know what is slope so clear each and every time you have to write the appropriate formula for slope what is the formula for slope slope is nothing but dy by dx is the general formula for slope who is in the dy then differ difference in y in difference in y so clear who is there del ic is there are you clear in dx which value is available del ib is available are you clear so slope value itself directly that gives you the current gain value beta are you clear substitute the value you will get certain value of beta that value of beta it does not have any unit are you clear the unit for current gain is nil are you clear so in your textbook in page number i will turn over the pages you should know the value of beta are you clear in general turn over page number in the page number uh, the values of betas are given <coughs> find out the value from the text are you clear there you can find the range of values of alpha and beta are you clear so usually the beta value is very high are you clear beta value is very high in the case of common emitter it is generally ranges from 50 to 200 are you clear beta value that ranges from 50 to 200 so this value is mentioned in your textbook don't forget this one may be asked in the objective beta current gain of the transistor in ce mode that value that ranges from 50 to 200 that one will vary from transistor to transistor no unit for current gain are you clear so thoroughly completely i have explained about the clear the method of finding the current gain in the case of transistor okay